That's pretty good. The number of prophecies made in the saints of Prophet Muhammad still alive, there were some of them, are so many that I can't even begin to tell you all of them. But I like to catch the catchy ones and throw them out there because it's a lot of fun. Like, for instance, a prophecy is said in the last days, you're going to see the arrows in the desert who are poor naked sheep herders, basically in the way I was talking about the other one, of the desert are going to be competing with each other to build high-rise buildings. Nobody, nobody 1400 years ago living in the desert would even want to build a second story on a building. If they had a second story that was open on the top of it, they wouldn't use it for like, you know, go out there and relax in the evening or something like that. But nobody's going to build a big building and put a hack on it. Uh, and then today, in the Arab desert, I just came from them. Go look and see these huge skyscrapers. Huge skyscrapers. One after the other after the other. By the way, most of them are empty. But the guy can't wait to go one across the street and build a big one. That's a pretty good prophecy. But you can say, well, yeah, but hey, they're just doing that to make it come out right. Okay. You're right. How about this one? This is part of it, I think. In the last days, a man's side will speak to him. How many of you heard that one? What's that mean? By the way, where do you carry your picture? Where do you carry your cell phone? Inside, you put it in your pocket. That. You put it in your purse. Huh. There's two points. Okay? Yeah, okay. You're never, ever, ever going to catch this. Guess what? You can read these books I told you about. But unless this is right, unless the heart is right, it's not going to happen. This is all about your heart, which belongs to your God, and your relationship with Him. Not me. If you choose the clown, it's nothing to me. It's not. It's not between you and me. I'll be happy for you. I'll be thrilled for you. But I'm still going down the road tomorrow and go somewhere else. Okay? Or after you have that when you got. We have to focus on something very important. And that is the guidance is from God. And if you want God to get that. I need to close our program out now because it's time for the woman to go pray. I've enjoyed my chance to be here with you. And if uh, we have a chance while I'm here for the next couple of days to discuss some of these issues in more detail, I'm happy to do it. But we discuss it privately, I promise you, I won't be so hard on you. Because when you have this many people, I have to be more general, and so now I get a little humorous, but it's not to hurt anybody's feet. It's just to keep us away and make us think about it. So I have to let a guy me and guy us, and put out all the straight truth. Not me. And if he got it, then nobody will discuss So until the next time we get together, I ask for a lot of guys to be with you and for all Muslims, I said I want to be with you. Thank <laughs> you.